So I was at the carousel and for some years and then Odell decided to, he had a partner, Dave Richardson, at the carousel. Dave Richardson was going to create the um, Gatsby's, him and another guy. And, uh, with, and then Odell decided to go around the corner to the 20, 21 East North Avenue to a building that used to be, I think it originally it was a car dealership, but it, it had became a beer and beef place that had closed down. And he was gonna renovate that place, which became Odell's. So I had a choice of staying with Dave Richardson or going with Odell. So I went with Odell since he was the one that gave me the opportunity initially to play at the club. So that was, I think about 1974 or 75 that Odell's opened. And um, we were a non-alcoholic um, space. Um, we were able to stay open, I think, to 4 a.m. at night. I think when we came here, it was less than $5 to get in. We had the formula was Jackie Brock, his, Odell's wife, was at the door. She handled the selection of people, which I think she modeled that after Studio 54 when they used to select their crowd. Our doorman our, our, um, was karate. He was a famous, you know, doorman. So if um, Jackie didn't want him, she was like, karate? And g give the hand, and they, they had to go out. But, um, and some people would say they would try, they would get in one day, and if she didn't like the, their look, they couldn't get in the next day. Odell was the, the manager and the, and the businessman, and I was the one that handled the sound and, and a little bit of the lighting, but my, my forte was more so the sound system, you know, my knowledge with sound. And <clears throat> when we opened Odell's, uh, the sound was done by a guy that used to, that did the sound at the Hippo, which, which was a guy named Steve Johnson. He was the only one that was creating a mixer at that time. So he, you know, we used the mixer that he was making. But all, the Odell's overall was very successful, a very successful venue. We, we went from 19, like I say, around 74, 75, Till, till 1988 is when the, um, the, we, the original Odell's closed. We used to do theme parties. Like I say, Monday night was more of the, uh, the diverse crowd. They had Dare to Bear on, one, on Monday nights when people put as little, dressed with as little as possible without being over, exposing themselves. Then on Thursday nights, I remember we used to do uh, the beach party. <coughs> um, and they would actually bring in sand and sprinkle it, you know, cover the dance floor with sand, put beach balls and, you know, all kind of beach paraphernalia decoration. And af after that party, the, the dance floor would be perfectly sand, you know, it was like it was ready for a coat of. Uh, shellac or varnish at that time so uh, like I, you know that was twofold you 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 get to dance in the sand and the and the management got its dance floor sanded for free <laughs> so and then then music started to be produced for the clubs we started getting um what they were called the 12 inches which were the big looked like an LP, but it was only a single. On the Monday night, it was whatever I, you know, wanted to play. Friday nights became the night known as the night where I started playing a lot of the import stuff. Craftwork was one of the imports that, you know, were, we exposed. And Saturday nights, you know, uh, the crowd was a little bit different. You know, you play um, more of the R&B stuff, you know. All the businesses out here were striving back then. There was a um, um, exclusive men's shop across the street, and you know everything was not like it is these days. You know, vacant or abandoned. It's different. You know, Station North. You know, it seems like it's more diverse. You know, than it was back in the day because back when when Odell's existed here. It was predominantly black, you know, the businesses were black, the, 
and and the clientele, the people that you know were in the area were, were traditionally black, but now it's more diverse because of the mica presence in the area, which is good. I like diversity. <laughs>